Finally, the mighty England have perished. And my word, that I did not expect this was going to happen at all. You asked me a day before, you asked me even the minute, second half. I wouldn't have thought England would just throw this game away. What happened, I have no idea. But surely, surely, England have missed their best opportunity. Best opportunity in a lifetime, mate. Seriously, you have gone against Sweden, gone against Colombia, had the more easiest group, Panama and Tunisia, ranks one of the lowest ranked team of, uh, with Russia. And my word, you will not find an easier World Cup than this. Beating Croatia, should have at least gone at least to the finals. Whatever happens in the finals, happens in the finals. But now, England are beaten. Croatia 2, England 1. So, um, as I say, um, I'm not a fan of either England or Croatia, not even a friend of uh, France and Belgium. Um, but I can say that this is, even though, yes, it is a huge success, in the recent years, England have always been pretty much um, predominantly influenced with uh, news as, you know, we... They they are uh, you know very low achievers. You would say always not performing in tournaments, always lacking that goal. Expect um, losing games they shouldn't lose, losing teams they shouldn't lose, and um, that's pretty much pretty much been the case. And this time around. It seems that um, things were going to be, you know, same old, same old, especially in the group stages. Well, you would say, you know, England are pretty much there. Um, their first game against Tunisia, um, people say, you know what? Yeah, lucky, uh, late goal, a hurricane, make it to one. And then against Panama, 6-1, everybody opened their eyes a bit, but still, Panama, come on. It's not the best team in the world. Basically, first ever appearance in the World Cup. And they lost against Belgium. But of course, then they said, you know, it's a B team. And England wanted to have a, a, much, more, a much more easier route to the finals. But then, of course, came uh, pretty much um, in the finals uh, against Colombia. After winning the penalty shootout, England have never won a penalty shootout uh, in a long time in, in the World Cup. Finally, they do, and the hype was in. It's coming home, it's coming home, whatever. And finally, of course, against Sweden, winning a 2-0 comfortable match going into the semi-final, top four. There is just no chance England were going to lose to Croatia. No one expected Croatia to beat England. But yesterday, reality, reality came and England were perished. Finally, after all these teams, I'm not going to bash England, nor I'm going to uh, praise Croatia. I'm just going to say that in football, anything could happen. And the one thing I do not like, especially in football, is teams demeaning other teams take to you know t uh, pretty much um talking that you know other teams might not be able to to, to score and it's going to be an easy win um I, I really thought that you know england this time around could, i mean in my in my previous videos uh could have thought you know england might just win this one so um yeah really thought they could have achieved something with this World Cup. I definitely did not thought they could win the World Cup, honestly, against France or Belgium, because they are an A side. But against Croatia, I would have thought that, okay, who scores first definitely is going to win it. And England scored first in the fifth minute. And I pretty much thought, you know what, definitely going through. Whatever happens, I don't think Croatia can come back from this. And boy, were we wrong. 
I was wrong. As a neutral supporter, I pretty much support A's. And pretty much for England fans, I know they're really, you know, in sorrow moves because this is their best chance ever. They don't have Germany in the tournament. They don't have Italy, Holland, no Brazil. They're pretty much, even even if they went to the finals, they still had a 50-50 chance because you're going to play either, what, France or Belgium. Uh, sorry, you're going to play France, a team that, you know, pr- not the best team in the tournament, but they they pretty much have class. At least England are in the finals. You can say that. Finalists, maybe. But who knows in football? Because the belief is there. But once you're out of it, it's pretty much out of it. Because you have no chance. There's no chance you can dream to say England can be champions anymore. Because that's not going to happen. Um, My thoughts... First, let's start on the game. Um, I didn't watch the whole game. Um... But as I can actually say that uh, the lineup was actually quite superb. Um, it was a very distinctive lineup, um, and I pretty much think that when England scored first, you pretty much knew um, that we had a chance. England had a chance to win it, but um, I think after the second half. After Harry Kane missed the penalty, um, things got a little bit slow for England. And slowly you saw Croatia. Um, that's one thing about scoring early. It could be really good for your morale, but it could actually have a lot of ample time for the opponents to really, you know what, um, be in, in, in the mood of, of, of vigilance and to score that equalizing goal. The only thing that you should do is to kill off the game, score two goals, like how Belgium did to Brazil, an own goal, and then they scored another one, seal the deal, and and they have a monumental task to to score. Now, England did score the first goal, a free kick that I thought before even he took, before even the player Trippier took the free kick, he was going to really bang this one in, and indeed he did. He actually banged the goal and scored the goal with absolutely brilliant. And then he pretty much, uh, uh, I think England mentality was sit behind and just ensure, you know, that these 85 minutes is going to pass by. And that is very wrong approach, actually, because Croatia is really strong this time around really really a team that nobody thought people even france in the final people have predicted that certain people think that france might win a lot of people thought belgium might win it pretty much they got knocked out and it was going to be england and france france sorry france and england finals but it was not going to be and croatia you know they overcome Argentina. Fairly say you can say Argentina is not the best team, but Argentina. France beat Argentina 4-3. You have to remember that. Croatia beat Argentina 3-0. That is actually a goal deficit of three goals deficit, which makes them, you know, pretty much better. But as you can actually say, well, France is actually playing better now. They defeated Belgium much more decent side they've defeated Uruguay uh, well it's fair share Croatia pretty much against Iceland against Nigeria uh, Argentina then of course they went against Denmark and then of course they went against Russia host nation and Croatia credit to them they played a full extra time game against Denmark win a penalty shootout against Russia home team winning a penalty shootout against a host nation absolutely you need nerves of steel in that penalty shootout and they still won it definitely won and they came back two goals uh in against russia they they scored uh, russia scored first they came back and then of course they scored and then russia came back so it was a very much tense battle against england of course when they equalize you can actually see in the second half when england equalized it seemed uh, sorry when croatia equalized it seems all hopes were gone and when the match went into extra time, you could feel that the that pretty much um, this was not going to be England's night. 
uh, you know, it, there was that, that feeling. If it were, if England have scored two goals in the first half, I would definitely thought there was no chance Croatia was going to win it. But when they scored an equaliser, were one one. I really thought it was over. And when Croatia scored the second goal, it was really all over because I don't think England could come back in the extra in the extra time. So these are these stats. You can see total shots, twenty two shots to eleven. And they had only two shots on target, England. Only two shots on target. You're not going to win anything. And that two shots on target, one went in. The other one, you just cannot rely on only two shots. Croatia had seven. Seven shots. That's three times more. Possession, 56 to 44. Passer, still Croatia wins 490 to 497. Pass accuracy, also Croatia, 80% to 76. False, of course, more to Croatia, 23 to 14. And yellow cards, 2 to 1, no red cards. Offside, 3 to 1. Corners, Croatia, 8 corners to England, only 4. So, statistic, uh, statistically... Statistic... <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> okay, from the stats, it is actually pretty obvious that Croatia were dominating... Were dominating the whole night. They outpass England, outpossess them, and they really deserve the win. Really deserve the win. Now, um, I know, of course, England have always un underachieved in World Cup, and in twenty eighteen we saw them going all the way to semi final since nineteen ninety, and um, and the height was just too you know unbearable. You know, it, we can see in every comment section, everyone was, you know, it's coming home, it really is. I'm not going to hate on England, but you have to say that they had the easiest draw. If England won on to win the World Cup, you can only say that they've been, re for their class, England, for their class, Premier League players, Harry Kane, super, I mean, really good players, in the Premier League, uh, you can really say that they were only tested in the semis, maybe, if they win against, if, if they won against Croatia 1-0, let's just say, and they won against France in the finals, maybe 2-1. You can only say that they were really tested only in the final games. I'm not saying they shouldn't win it, but um, it seems like if you want to be champions, you must at least go against really good side in your journey we saw this against against brazil four years ago they went all the way to the semi-finals but beating south american oppositions which were not that good colombia um they beat uh i'm not sure the other two but they were they were a mexico i think i'm i'm not sure it was mexico but they were latin american teams and then when they got against a decent european side germany they were knocked out seven one Whereas Argentina were uh, last four years winning against Belgium, Netherlands. It was consistent. Of course, fortunately, unfortunately, they, they lost in, in, in the finals. When, in which, in that year, Germany really deserved to win. But England, I think they were tested in the Colombia game. No doubt about it. Tunisia, okay, let's go in the group stages. Tunisia, last minute win. Almost a draw, but sin, But you can tell there's, they should have made a water penalty. A lot of aggression. Panama, no doubt about it. If you can't win against Panama, you might not just you better just not, you know, go compete in the World Cup. And uh, and of course uh, they lost against Belgium, which a lot of people think that um, you know maybe maybe it's actually uh, you know pretty much a game that England do not want to win, strategically wise whatsoever B team and a team which uh, both of the team at the time qualified against Colombia they scored first from a penalty spot and then Colombia equalized the very end again to, extra, again to penalty shootout and Colombia of course he, playing against Colombia without their star player James Rodriguez you can say oh it's just one person but let's say England did not have Harry Kane let's just say England played without Harry Kane this entire tournament how far could they have been? How far could have they have gone? So that's the case. And then, of course, against uh, 
Sweden in the quarterfinals. Um, not the most strongest tie, I would say. Sweden, of course, they get almost got draw with Germany. They beat Mexico in that game. They went on to beat Switzerland. Um, not the best side, which I think, if you want to tell that you know or. England are the, are the best and the worst, uh, you know, are not lucky. They're really good against this team. Then I would actually say that if England can do this in the next World Cup or in the next Euros, two, two years from now, maybe you can come to this, you know, you can come to this video again and comment and say, you know what, England are good, but a lot of people don't believe that. They believe that they have a chance this time around because they were lucky enough to get these sort of teams and their route was much more easier. France had to play against Argentina, had to play against Uruguay, had to play against Belgium. That is a team that, you know, I can say, deservingly, anonymously, you are going to the finals against good oppositions. And, and I mean, that's, that's what I'm just saying. Although nobody will actually... When if you're a champion, if England go on to win it, nobody will actually check their route to the finals. And and let's say Croatia, pretty much had teams with Argentina, Nigeria, and Iceland, not the best teams, but really teams that Iceland beat beat England, so they are kind of good. And they went against Denmark, a decent side, and then against Russia, host nation, which everyone thought was a very psychological battle. And then, of course, against England. So they beat England, pretty much the favourites against uh, last night's game, but did not uh, deliver. So I think France and Croatia, basically the two teams that really deserve to be in the finals. I'm not saying that England have won, they don't deserve, because if England have won it, they have won against Croatia, it's just a good side, so they deserve it, but they do not. So pretty much they are against Belgium. So, uh, um... Pretty much, uh, I think that it, 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 it's been um, a successful World Cup for England. And, of course, um, Garrett Southgate. Uh, I remember him playing for Middlesbrough when I was like a teen, playing my, my secondary school. Um, didn't thought that he would, you know, be, be a you know, a, a, an ideal manager for England after all those failures with Ericsson, with Fabio Capello, and then Harry Ragnar. We got a lot of good good uh, coaches, and then, you know, everything seems to fail. Um, so, of course, and again, Croatia, a uh, team that also beat England back in the qualification in 2007 for the Euros. Um, and again, today... Uh, pretty much beat them. So, um, my thoughts on the finals. Uh, I, I'm thinking that... Um, I'm thinking that... It's going to be... Um, okay, let's see with third place. Um, England have pretty much will face Belgium. Uh, third place is always going to be an open game. Both the teams playing uh, in their last edition, losers of each of the, of the match. Um, it's going to be an open game. I think Belgium will win it because I'm not sure. I mean, if actually, if any team wins it, deep down, they know that it's just a consolation. No big deal about it. But they still have to play that one. So I'm going to say uh, Belgium to win it. I think it's going to be a very high game, high scoring game, but I'm going to say 3-2 to Belgium, uh, England scoring two goals. The finals, I would say, it's going to be really a cracker. France and Croatia. France, a very elegant side, had a lot of, have a lot of star players, strong team, but also have a lot of weaknesses as well. Uh, same as Croatia, not the best team if you compare head to head, but they have a mm -hmm. uh, fighting spirit which I really, pretty much, uh, pretty much admire, and how they actually overcome, you know, all those extra times, still have the energy to beat England, 
uh, it's going to be a worthwhile to find out who wins. But I really, I'm, I want Croatia to win it because I want to have a new World Cup champion, and I think they really deserve. This is going to be their fairy tale of their own, Croatia. And if if France win it, also I think that you know they have been really good in this tournament, especially at at the very start, but slow start. But at the end of the day, they quickly got their heart, got their got their pretty much um, uh, hyped. Uh, but I I my predictions is going to be a very tough game. It's going to be a very tough game. Croatia or France? Of course, you can say France have the skill. Griezmann, you got Pogba, Mbappe. But of course, uh, you saw against Belgium. Pretty much the first half an hour, seems like Belgium could have won the game. Um, and, um, but I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be uh, France to win it. Um, I'm not saying France are better side than Croatia, not at all in this World Cup. We, we, but I think that they have the edge quality, that, that final touch that could make them become the champions. But it's going to be a very close game. And I think it's going to be like maybe 2-1. It might be in extra time because uh, so far in the last... Four editions in 2014, extra time, 2010, extra time, 2006, extra time. Three in the last three editions of the World Cup has been extra time. So I even, it could even be penalties. In which I think if it was penalties, Croatia is definitely going to win it. But I am 51% think that France might just have the edge. 51%. So you see how close. Uh, and... And and of course for for Croatia I think they they have uh, they have been the best um, but I think France will win it uh, I'm gonna say it's going to be two one for France to win it for the second World Cup but if yeah uh, if Croatia win it then it's also great for England they can play third place as well as as well as Belgium I think Belgium as well as England are really hurtful because they had England. Is their best chance to win the World Cup. Belgium is their golden generation. Also, pretty much one of the, you know, after beating Brazil, after coming back two goals down against Japan, you would have thought that was all for something. But at the end of the day, as I say, if luck was, it's not on your side. Another thing, of course, as I said again, England wearing the white kit. Of course, you're not going to say to FIFA, I want, I want the red kit, but, you know, it, the white kid has not been good for England. Uh, not been good at all. I have seen that it, they lift the 1966 uh, trophy in, in a red shirt, which says a lot. England, I don't think, are pretty much um, superstitiously uh, uh, advantageous in their white kit. Uh, there always seems to be a lot of downfall in their white shirts. In their red shirts, they seems to be much better side. Uh, but yeah, if if you if you don't have luck, I mean, against uh against Germany in two thousand ten, they were wearing their their red shirts. Uh, Lampard disallowed goal. So yeah, um, but so it's been an interesting World Cup. Uh, Russia has been, I think, a very successful tournament, successful World Cup. Um, nobody thought Croatia would be all the way to their first sem- first ever finals. No one, everyone was hyping about Brazil, hyping about uh, even Belgium as well. Even France, nobody took them seriously after the after the group games, which I think helped in the advantage. They were not really jinxed uh, as much as Brazil were, as much as Belgium were, and even England. So, as I say, uh, that's it, my predictions. France to win the final. And Belgium to win the third place, and uh, I'm going to be updating the my final World Cup edition of this 2018, and uh, that's it. Bye for now.